and she loves the word. Amen. And one thing she has taught us the power of prayer. Amen. Every time we have a situation, she always refer back to the word of God Amen. and tells us to stand on the word. And as her daughter, when I was younger, I didn't understand it. But now that I'm older, married, and have my own children, I understand the power of prayer. Amen. You know? And so I catch myself doing the same thing she did with us, anointing my children's head, anointing their clothes, anointing their shoes, praying over them, speaking the blood of Jesus over them, telling them that no one can form against them shall prosper. Amen. You know? So I'm grateful for advantages and prophets in my mom. Amen. You know, I can't take things for granted. I took it granted when I was younger. I was asking, why you call me so much? And now I'm calling her three or four when I call her back. And when she don't pick up, I get mad. Okay. <laughs> but that's because of our relationship, the bond that we have, and the respect I have for her as a mother. And just to know, just to show you guys, I didn't want to come up and speak. And I told her, I said, Mom, I'm not going to come up and speak. She said, Daughter, you want to do it. I said, Well, yeah, you're right. I want to do it. <laughs> but I want to introduce you guys as prophets and evangelists, but most of all, my best friend and my mother, Amen. Mary and Jay Tucker. Amen. 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 I tell you, Yahweh is good. Yes, yes, he is. Yes, he is. is everybody well today? Amen. Amen. Well, we bless Yahweh for this opportunity, amen, to come before you all today to deliver a word from Yahweh. All right. Amen. We just welcome you guys, my family. Praise I say good morning, family. Good morning. Good morning to your family, those that are watching, alive, friends. We want to welcome you. We're excited and we appreciate you deciding to join us in our service on this morning. Amen. It's a blessing to be in the house of Yahweh. Yes. But most of all, it's a blessing to be alive oh, yeah. to serve a living Yahweh. Yeah. Yeah. And when it's a blessing to be in your right mind, yeah. to have health and strength, That's right. to be able to lift your hands and have eyes to see. Feet to walk on a sound mind, a mind that is fortified and resolute, and your emotions are sound and stable. Amen. Hello, that's a blessing. Oh, yeah. All by yourself. Yeah. It's a blessing when your family is well. Right. They're healing their home. Yeah. It's a blessing when they're still alive. Right. That Yahweh has kept them yeah. up and down the dangerous highway. Amen. When we look all around, we see how dark. How darkness has covered the earth and gross darkness is upon the people mm -hmm. but we have a light, a light. Come on. Mm -hmm. the ultimate light yeah. Yeah. that bright light yeah. the light of Yeshua yeah. the light of the world yeah. the light that shines in our hearts that light that shines in darkness Yahweh is the light yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. and I'm excited about the light. Amen. Give honor to my apostles. Bless men and woman of Yahweh. I know without a shadow of a doubt who they are. Amen. And I'm not I'm not just saying this because they're my relatives and apostles, D and I are friends. We went to school together. I know them by the Spirit of God. Amen. I know them because of who Yahweh showed me they are. Amen. He didn't say they were perfect. He didn't say they were without flaws. But they're a man and a woman out of the heart of Yahweh Amen. who loves him and deeply rooted and grounded Amen. in the word of Yahweh. Amen. 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 To my family back then, I am so grateful. Thank God for you guys coming out to fellowship with me when I told my family I was speaking. And I told them, I said, oh, you guys going to be in the house. I want you guys there. And it wasn't nothing but a word. Amen. I see my oldest daughter back there. She is not my blood daughter, but she's my oldest daughter. You can't tell my children that that's not their oldest sister. And I'm grateful because 
when you do right, Amen. when you walk in love and you impart and you disciple somebody else, somebody else will help disciple your own children. Right. I departed into her, discipled her, and now she's departing into my own children. Amen. 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 That's a blessing. It is. I give honor to all of you that are here. And I just want to thank Yahweh again for this opportunity. There is a word from the Lord. Praise Yahweh. I don't plan to be before you long. I know I'm not going to get through all of this today because most of you guys know I'm a serious teacher. Amen. I've always been like that. Yahweh just don't give me enough of one sermon. He gives me series. And I wait on him to tell me when to come back. But I want to <clears throat> share with you before I give you my topic and begin to get into the word. I want to share with you a dream that Yahweh gave me back in 1990. <laughs> Yahweh don't forget anything. Amen. He'll bring all things back to our remembrance. He just don't hold things again. But this is a, a dream that he gave me back in 1989. And about six months ago, up until now, he's been flashing this dream before my face. And when he brought it back, because I never forgot the dream, I just didn't, you know, you don't just go and remember the dream all the time. But I, I remember the dream verbatim. And in this dream, I was at the Township Auditorium at a concert, it appears to be a concert. And I was walking down the steps in the auditorium. And as I was walking down the steps, you know, I could see around me, people around me, and people were taking their seats. And, but there was a round circle that was on my people, on both eyes, a round circle. And that circle was perfect that sat on my people. I could see where I was going, but my view was obstructed. I had my peripheral vision, I could see clearly. But what was directly before me was blocked, was not clear, but I could still see where I was going. I didn't understand the dream back then. And to be honest, when he gave it and he flashed it back to me, I still didn't have the full understanding. Then two months ago, he gave me another dream. And in this dream, I was on my stomach crawling. There was a door. Actually, there was a door on my left. There was a door on my right. And at the door, I was trying to get through. I tried to get through the door on my left. There was this woman in dressed in red. Beautiful woman. Caucasian. You would never think that this woman was evil. And I'm not saying that Caucasian people is evil, but I got to give you the dream to so we can have an understanding what Yahweh is saying. Every time I tried to get through the door, she would stand in the way and blocked me from going through the door. Then she had this smirk and look on her face like, So I reversed and I shifted and I tried to go through the door on my right, 
she was standing at that door. And I was trying so hard to get through the door. And she stood there again with this look on her face to say, she never opened her mouth. She just kept looking like, like she was mocking me. Like she was picking at me, playing with me to let me know you're not coming through this door. I tried to get through the door so hard, and y'all, this is no lie. I fell out my bed. I woke up because I fell out my bed because I was trying so hard to get through the door. So my message today, when Yahweh gave me this, I was reading and studying. And as I was reading and studying, there was a word that just jumped out. It just light up before my eyes. And the word was blind spot. Blind spot. That was just the title, blind spot. We all have them. So I'm going to be coming from Genesis chapter 3. And when he gave me the scripture, I was like, Yahweh, I don't understand why you would take me to Genesis chapter 3 to talk about blind spot. But let me just share with you this. The word, the understanding was in my blind spot. The knowledge of what he was saying was in my blind spot. It had not been revealed to me. It wasn't clear to me. It was hidden from me. It was out of my view because it was in my blind spot. Hello. So if you would turn with me to Genesis chapter 3. And I want to um, just look at, let's see. I want to read in Genesis 2 just for our vision understanding so I can lead into Genesis 3. Now, in Genesis chapter 2, verse 16 and 17, it reads, and the Lord God commanded the man, saying, of every tree of the garden, thou may what? Freely eat. Freely eat. Mm -hmm. But of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, you shall not eat of it. <clears throat> For in that day you eat of it, you shall what? Possibly die. Surely. Might die. Surely. That word surely means no doubt about it. It's going to be, this is going to be the consequences for your disobedience if you decide to eat of the tree of good and evil. Right? Amen. Now in Genesis chapter 3, I want you to, I'm going to read from Genesis chapter 3, 1 through 7. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, have God said you shall not eat of the tree of every, and shall not eat of every tree in the garden? And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, Ye shall not eat it of it, neither shall you touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Oh, you shall not surely die. For well, God knows that in the day you eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open, 
and you shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. For God knows that in that day, again, your eyes will be open, and you shall be as God, knowing good and evil. Amen? Amen. Let's pray. Father, we just thank you now for the word. We honor you and we give you praise. We deposit this message in your charge. I decrease that you might increase. Ruach Hakadesh, speak now. Fill my mouth with your words. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. I decree and declare that the word shall be spoken with boldness, with simplicity, with clarity, and with great understanding. Father, thank you for revelation knowledge flowing unhindered and uninterrupted by any satanic or demonic force. I take authority over every attack, every scheme, every plot, every strategy, every demise, every assignment of the enemy right now. I abort your plans. I interrupt your plans to come in and try to demise in Yahshua's name. The will of Yah will be done. The word of Yah will be spoken. And the word will fall on good ground. We decree it. We establish it because your word says we can establish a thing yes. or decree a thing yes. and it shall be established. Yes. We give you praise, yes. glory, yes. and honor. And it's in Yahshua Hamashiach's name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. <laughs> glory be to God. Yes. Got some questions for you. Have you ever looked for something? And you couldn't find it. <laughs> Have you ever looked for something Amen. you couldn't find? It? Yes. And then when you found it, finally find found it or find it, you realize it was there oh. all the time. Yes. Yes. It was right there mm -hmm. in front of you. Yeah. Maybe right there beside you, mm -hmm. but you couldn't see it. Because it was in your Spot. Come on now, talk back to me, church. Right. It was in your what? Glass spot. Have you ever met someone? <laughs> or perhaps married someone? Come on. Come on. And then when you get to know them, mm -hmm. you get closer to them, you develop a relationship with, you, yes. with them. Then all of a sudden you start saying, I, I didn't see that in you. <laughs> That's right. I didn't know they were like that. Come on. I didn't know they had that in them. Yeah. Uh, Why? It was in your blind, blind spot. That's good. <laughs> That's good. Amen. That's all right. Have you ever found out something about your child mm -hmm. or maybe your children mm -hmm. that you didn't know about? Mm -hmm. Have your adult child maybe have come to you as an adult to tell you something that happened to them as a child or something that happened in your household that they experienced and you didn't see it and you didn't realize how it affected them Amen. until they became an adult and they made that thing known to you and you said, I didn't know that. I never saw that. I thought everything was fine. You never said anything. You seem to be okay. That's because it was where? In yeah, your blind. blind spot. So my question to you today is, what's in your blind spot? Who's in your blind spot? Because when you're looking at blind spots, let's talk about some blind spots here. No one is immune to a blind spot. Come on. None of us mm -mm. are immune to blind spots. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We all have them. Yeah. We may be blinded by our knowledge of the word of God. 
We may be blinded by our career. We may be blinded. Alcoholics are blind by their alcohol, drug addicts blinded by their drug addiction. Mm -hmm. There's, we could be blinded by our anger, bitterness, unforgiveness, mm -hmm. strife, mm -hmm. jealousy, competition, mm -hmm. slothfulness, laziness, mm -hmm. mediocrity. All of that could be in our blind spot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, pride could be in our blind, blind spot. spot. Thinking more highly of ourselves than we ought to, or thinking less of ourselves than Yahweh sees us. That's also in your could be in your blind spot. Gossip could be in your blind spot. Stubbornness. Come on now. On, Rebellion. Yes. Disobedience. Yes. Unbelief and doubt could be in your blind spot. Biases. Prejudices. Judgment. Critical judgment of one another could be in your blind spot. Not listening to one another. Mm -hmm. Talking to one another in a disrespectful manner. Cursing one another. All right, now. Could be in your blind spot. How you talk to people. How you present yourself to people. Could right. be in your blind spot. Amen. Lying. Manipulation. Amen. Deception. Come on, we're good. Could be in your blind spot. Fornication. Pornography. Yes. Misunderstanding. Yes. Having sex outside of marriage could be in your blind spot. It's all right. So many things can be in our blind spot. Whether we can see them or not. They're there. They're there whether you can see it or not. They are in your, it's in your blind spot. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we can see blind spots, flaws, and can be judgmental or critical in about somebody else can see what's going on in somebody else's life. All right. We can see the flaws or the shortcomings in somebody else's life, but we fail to see the shortest and the flaws and the shortcomings in our own life because it's in our blind spot. The Bible says what in Matthew, I think, 7 and 5. You hypocrite. <laughs> you hypocrite. Yeah. First take the plant that moat. That beam, yeah. that big log that's blinding you, that's got you in a blind spot, and you can't see it in your own eye, but you're looking at that little moat, which is a sawdust. Go ahead. Something so much smaller in another person. You pointing the fingers at them, but Yahweh said, first, take it out of your own eye. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. Clear your vision. <laughs> when you clear your vision, when you sweep around your own door, yes, you clean up your own stuff, mm. then you can rightfully and maybe look at somebody yes. else's. That's, That's right. right. That's all right. That's good. Chill all right. Mm. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Blind spots. Because we don't see them, and be just because we don't see them, could be dangerous. When they go unchecked, yes. when they go unnoticed, Come on now. ignored mm -hmm. in your life, mm -hmm. they could cause some great consequences in our lives. Amen. Blind spots are not forced on you now. Don't get me wrong. Blind spots are not forced on us. The Bible says Satan, he's the God of this world. 
who has blinded the minds of the people or the unbelievers. See, when you're in a blind spot, you be, you're now in an area of unbelief. And it wasn't forced on you. It was by choice. Huh? You made a decision to ignore God, turn away from what God has told you, turn a deaf ear to it, and it becomes dull in your hearing. Or the blind spot came from lack of knowledge or truth. Because the Bible says in Hosea chapter 4 and 6, he says, my people perish for what? Lack of, of knowledge. So when you don't have knowledge of what Yahweh is saying, you don't have knowledge of the truth, the Bible says, oh, you will perish. Perish simply means you put off, cast off restraint. You know what that means? Perish there means you now out of control. Mm -hmm. When you get out of the will of Yahweh, you're not in Yahweh's will for your life. You are all over the place. That that cast um that word Paris means ain't wonderfully aiming. You're going about it, ain't aiming at nothing. Your target is off. Your view is off. Your vision is obstructed because you are in a blind spot. Glory be to God. And so many of us are in blind spots. That's right. Question. Do you know? And I'm not just saying naturally, do you know who you are? Do you really know who you are? Or do you know who Others have told you you are. Or, or do you know who you are based on what the environment, your environment you grew up in, or based on situations and experience in your life, or based on what you know about yourself? When I'm asking you, do you know yourself? I'm talking about, do you know yourself through the eyes of Yahweh? How do you see yourself? Come on, come on. Whose lens are you looking through? Are you looking through Yahweh's eyes when you see yourself? Or you have determined and came up with a life or a idea of who you're supposed to be based on your own self? Mm. Perception of yourself. Mm. See, I had to learn this, y'all. Mm. Two years ago in 2020, Yahweh to become your authentic self. Get real with yourself. Find out who you are. Learn who you are based on what I said about you. Not based on what you've been through. Not based on what people said about you. Not based on what it looks like. Not based on your hurt, your pain, your disappointment. But determine who you are and become who you are based on what who I created you to be. Oh, and a lot of us don't know who we are because it's in our blind spot. Because we really don't take the time to study enough about ourselves. See, this was in my blind spot until 2020. And I begin to dig this thing out. And Yahweh said, he that, he that holds on to his own life shall lose his life. But he that lose his life for my sake, you gain life. Glory be to God. Praise Praise so I had to find out who I am through the lens of Yahweh. Uh, he said, now you study my, your identity in me. I'm a child of Yahweh, born of Yahweh. I am the head and not the tail. I'm the top and not the bottom. I walk in the light and he is in the light. I am a child of life. I am the head and not the tail, the top and not the bottom, above all and not the knee. I'm born of his spirit, saved by his spirit, accepted in the beloved. I am favored of God. I am favored of God. I walk in the spirit of God. I am loved by God. I am healed by God. Hallelujah. That's who I am in here. I am a mouthpiece. 
use for his glory. Yeah. A messenger for him and his servant. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. Glory, glory be to God. Praise. So I started finding out who I am. I start decreeing who I am mm -hmm. so that I can go down in my mm, my God. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go okay, on. I hear you, Yahweh. Yeah. See, he says, the blind spots are in your mind. Yeah. That's, it. That's it. Now when you are blind in a blind spot, yeah. blind being uh spiritually blinded, mm -hmm. or being in a blind spot is not the same as spiritual darkness. Mm -hmm. See, when you're in spiritual darkness. That's alienation, mm -hmm. total separation from God. But as a born again believer, mm -hmm. a child of Yahweh, we're not in spiritual darkness. Yahweh told me you can't ever be in spiritual darkness. He said, because I am the light. Yeah. And my light dwells within you. Yeah. So I am the light of the world and my light is in you. And he said, if you walk in the light, then you will see my life. He said, those that follow after Yahshua HaMashiach, when you walk and you follow Jesus, he said, there is no God. Come on, Come on. So he said, you can never be in total, total darkness. But you can be blinded. You can be blinded. Because you got a God that blinds people. That, and he blinds you based on your thoughts. See what Satan does. Oh. Work with it. Because blind spots are in our mind. These are areas. Not every area you are blinded in. Right. But there are areas in your life or in our lives that we are blinded and we can't see clearly. Now understand that God is the God of light, mm -hmm. the Father of light. Mm -hmm. There is no darkness in him, right? So Satan has to be the God of darkness, That's right. the father of darkness. So when your thoughts, are, when you got wrong thoughts, <laughs> you're thinking wrong, and the enemy sees that, because I'm going to tell you now, he don't know your thoughts. Right. Okay? Mm -hmm. But what Satan does do, the Bible says, he goes about as a roaring lion. Uh -huh. He's to seek Seeking, seeking whom he may devour. That means he's watching your every move. Oh my God. Did he not watch Eve in the garden? Yes, he did. Now, I'm going to come back to this. Oh, I got to go in. Eve in the garden. He gave the instructions, he gave them the command. He specifically said, in the garden, there are trees in the garden. Every tree in the garden, y'all can eat as much as you want to eat of it. But this tree of good and evil, you are not to eat off that tree. Is that not a commandment? Yes. Is that not instruction? Right. Is that not clear? Right. Yeah. All yeah. right. Now, you know who heard that same commandment? Mm -hmm. Satan heard that. Right. See, Satan don't know your, your glory be to God. Satan don't know your thoughts until you speak it out of your mouth. When you speak it out of your mouth, he realized that thought is not in line. That's right. What she's saying or what you're doing or what she just said Work with it. Come on is not in line with what God told you. That's right. So guess what's getting ready to happen? He recognized dimness. Because that thought right there is in the dark. Mm -hmm. It's dim. Mm -hmm. And when you got a dark thought, thought Satan moves in. That's right. It's darkness draws Satan. Yes. Light draws the fire uh. closer to you. So he sees and hears your thoughts. And he came to Eve, and what did he say to Eve? Did not did not God say you could eat off you could eat off the trees in the garden? You know when he got her to do, he was playing with her now. Because you know what? Eve was had to be out of position. Eve had to be somewhere near that tree. Come on. He, she had to be somewhere where he could tempt her. Because temptation don't come from outside. Temptation comes from within. Yeah. It's something in you that Satan has connected with. <laughs> oh my God. It's something in your own heart. That Satan has connected with, and now he can connect, he can uh, he can tip you in that area. Come on, so it was something Eve had done. Eve somehow, because 
Yahweh told her, don't you even eat off the tree. But what got me was when he said, don't even touch the tree. I said, well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why did you say don't eat, don't touch? Eat and touch is dealing with your feelings and your emotions. It's talking about your emotions. Because see, when your emotions get involved, you are out of the will of God because you're going to be led by your emotions. Eve, he knew Eve was near that tree. He saw where she was located. And he said, I'm going to throw a dot. I'm going to throw a fiery dot. I'm going to see if she's going to accept this dot. I'm going to see her. I'm going to see what she's going to do. But you know how Eve responded. And this is another thing. I kept reading this. Did y'all not notice that Eve did not say, um, he told us not to eat off the tree of good and evil? She never said that. She said the tree in the midst of the garden. God told Adam that he named that tree. The tree of good and evil. See, oh, glory to God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He named the tree, but she didn't name it. She didn't say it. See, when we don't say what he says, we're not going to do what he does. That gives Satan an a, 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 a open door to come in and to send, uh, to come to you as an angel of light. See, he spoke the word, but he didn't do the whole word. But what he spoke was enough to cause her to, to doubt God. Cause her to think about that thing. Yeah. Cause her to, to, to look around and look from. Because when you die, you die from something. You leave and you separate it from something. So he got her to turn away from what she was looking at. What was before her. And it went in, she was in a blind spot. A blind spot. Where are you today? Are you in a blind spot? Are you in the will of God? For your life? Are you seeing God? Things from his perspective? From your point of view? Because when you are in a blind spot, that means there's absence of light. You can't walk in the light and in the darkness at the same time. On, you can't serve, serve God and the devil at the same time. You can't walk in righteousness and unrighteousness at the same time. You can't walk in sin and walk in the righteousness of God at the same time. You either going to serve one or the other. And whoever you yield yourself to, who's going to master your life? Who is going to master your life? I'm, I'm bringing it to a close. Oh, my. The mind. Blind spots in your mind. We have two minds. Mm -hmm. A conscious mind mm -hmm. and a subconscious mind. Mm -hmm. The conscious mind is the mind that's always conscious. It's aware of things. Mm -hmm. It's aware of its surroundings. Mm -hmm. The conscious mind is where all the thoughts go and come. Mm -hmm. To your conscious mind. Okay? Your conscious mind feeds your subconscious mind. As long as the thought is in your unconscious mind, you're okay. But if it ever gets in your subconscious mind, the subconscious mind is your heart. That's your heart. So this is how it works. The conscious mind keeps hearing something over and over and over again. Whether it's good or whether it's bad. The Bible says you got to renew your mind with the word of God. Why? Because before we came to Christ, our mind, the soul, is full of darkness. That's why we have to bring light. The Bible said, let there be light. You want light in your soul? You got to say, let there be light. That's what Yahweh said. He said, let there be light. And what happened to darkness? It disappeared. So when it gets in your subconscious mind, that becomes a problem. See, when she yielded to the temptation, it is because it got in her heart. And you can't walk out something in your life if it's not in your heart. The Bible said, out of the heart, 
The mouth speaks and out of the heart flows the issue of life. Of life. So if life, if that if evil is in your heart, you are cut off from the life source of Yahweh. Yes. There is no life there in the blind spot. Mm. You're separated from Yahweh. There is no life. God, there's so much I can't go through it today. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say to you guys today, think about your blind spot. Thanks. Ask Yahweh who's in my blind spot. What's in my blind spot? And listen, when, it, when you ask, be ready to hear. Because mm -hmm. I can promise you, everything he tells you is not going to be pretty. Yes. It's not going to be pretty, mm -hmm. but it's going to be good. Because yes. the Bible says you shall know what? The yes. truth. Yes. And the truth, truth shall do what? Because if you're in a blind spot, you ain't bondage. Yes. If you're in a blind spot, you're in an area of lies and deception. You're being manipulated. And the will of God is not being done in that area. Amen. So you need to get set free so you can know the will of God. And do the will of God. And follow his will for your life. Amen. 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 It's all right. It's all right. I praise God for the word on today. Yeah. I hope you guys got something out of it. Mm -hmm. There's more yet to come. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Basically, I just kind of build the foundation today. That's all right. We got to go deeper, saints. Amen. We got to go deeper because Yahweh wants his best for our life. Blind spots hinders the blessings of God in your life. Blind spots cause you not to receive your inheritance in Yahweh. And you want God's best. You don't want your blessings to be held up. So you got to know where you are. You got to recognize. Come into knowledge of the blind spots in your life. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory. Glory to God. We want to, for those individuals, we want to now offer salvation. If you're in the house, if you're watching online and you have not received Yahshua HaMashiach as your Lord and Savior, you are absolutely in darkness, total darkness, separated, alienated from Yahweh. You don't want to be alienated from him because he created you. And he created you to be in the light. So if you're not saved, he said, I am the door. And if any man come unto me, I will in no wise cast you out. I won't set you aside. I won't abandon you. Even in your blind spots, God said, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. I'm, I was there. I'm there with you. You just can't see it. Ah, oh, glory to God. He said, my light is right there because, but because you are where you are, you can't see it. He said, but I'm with you even there. So if you have not received him, you have the opportunity now to come to the light, the beautiful light of the Lord Jesus Christ. That light that shines bright within you. If you backslid on your way, you're in a blind spot. But you can come back to the light today. You can come back and rededicate your life unto him. So if you would just, if you're here and you want to be saved, then just raise your hand. And if you're there and you're watching alive, you can raise your hand too, because you're not raising your hand to me. <laughs> You're raising your hand to Yahshua HaMashiach. Simply meaning I'm giving up now. I'm giving you everything. I'm surrendering my heart. I need a Savior in my life. So just repeat after me. Heavenly Father, I realize I am a sinner and that I am in total darkness. Separated from you. 
need the light. I need the light. I need a savior. Save me. Save me. Save me. Deliver, me. Deliver me. Heal me. Heal me. Restore me. Restore me. I believe. I believe that Yeshua, that Yeshua died for me. I believe. I believe. He rose. From the day. And I accept. Jesus Christ of Yeshua as my Savior, my Lord, my Master, in Yeshua Hamashiach's name.
prophet is resting and she was praying. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise Yahweh. Hallelujah. 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 Father, we thank you right now. In the name of Yahshua, as we come before your presence, we come with thanksgiving. We come honoring you. We come giving you glory, honor, thanks, and praise. Father, we come thanking you that you are all knowing. You're all powerful, almighty, omnipotent, omniscient. You're omnipresent. You're everywhere at the same time. There's no distance in prayer today. And we thank you, Father, right now in the name of Yahshua for touching hearts. Those that are hurting, those that are going through something in their life, Father, in the name of Yahshua. Those that feel broken, those that can't just release some unforgiveness in their life right now. In the name of Yahshua, we come against those things that's being rehearsed in their mind over and over and over again that's not of Yahweh. We come casting down every imagination yes. and every high that, that exalts itself against the knowledge of Yahweh in the name of Yahshua. We come taking everything captive right now that's Amen. not like Yahshua. In the name of Yahshua, we sever it to the root. The blood of Yahshua is against it. It has no authority in our life. In the name of Yahshua, we come lifting those that are hurt. Those, Father, that just don't have an understanding about what's going on in the land and in the world right now. In the name of Yahshua, you said to cast every care upon you. We come casting every care, every concern, every question, everything onto you right now in the name of Yahshua. And we say thank you, Father. Thank you. you say to let not our hearts be troubled in the name of Yahshua. We thank you, Father, that you are concerned about what we are concerned about. And you're able to do all things. There's nothing too hard. There's nothing that you cannot do. So we thank you for being a healer right now. We thank you for being a deliverer. We thank you for being our strong tower, yeah. our refuge, oh, our yeah. fortress, oh, our all in yeah. all. In the name of Yahshua. In the name of Yahshua. We thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Right now for healing. We thank you for healing, for healing from deep within. We thank you for healing in every area. Father, heal in the name of Yahshua. Heal, ha, ha, glory. Healing right now in the name of Yahshua. Heal disappointment. Heal frustration. Heal, ha, ha, every hurt, every pain in the name of Yahshua. Heal like only you can. We thank you, Father. For Yahshua has already taken everything on the cross. He took all of our sin, all of our sickness, all disease. He took it all on the cross. So we plead the blood of Yahshua over each and every one right now. We plead the blood of Yahshua, hallelujah, over each person from the head to the toe. We cover them under the blood. We cover families under the blood. We cover those that may be breathing under the blood of Yahshua. In the name of Yahshua. We thank you for being a comforter and a comforter indeed. In the name of Yahshua. We thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. We thank you for your mercy and your grace. We thank you, Father. In the name of Yahshua. For doing a quick work. A right now work. Hallelujah. You're still God Almighty all by yourself. And there's nothing too hard for you. There's nothing you cannot do. So we thank you, Father, for all things working together for our good. Because we love you and will call according to your purpose in Christ Jesus. Father, you heard all the requests. You heard every prayer request. You heard every name that was called out. You even heard the names that were not called out. In the name of Yahshua. And we thank you, Father, for being a prayer answering God. We thank you for moving speedily and mightily right now in the lives and the hearts of those that, hallelujah, had requests made known and those that did not make it known. We thank you, Father, for your faithfulness. We thank you, Father, in the name of Yahshua, for healing every area, touching every area. Those hidden areas, those areas in our blind spots, those areas that we don't want to confess, we thank you that 
that you already know, Father, in the name of Yeshua. We thank you for creating a clean heart, renewing the right spirit within us, and having mercy upon us according to your tender mercy, blotting out all of our transgressions, washing us with this up, and we shall be blinded in the snow, in the name of Yeshua. So, Father, we give you thanks today as we thank you for joy, for the joy, the unspeakable joy of the Lord is our strength. In the name of Yahshua, we pray. Amen. 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 We bless his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless the name of Yahweh today. Just want to encourage everyone. Don't quit believing. It might be something that you've been praying for for a long time. And you haven't seen the results manifesting yet. Don't give up. Don't lose hope. Don't stop praying. Don't stop believing. Continue to believe. Even if you're dealing with something in your body, continue to believe. We walk by faith, not by sight. Amen. Praise Yahweh. Yahweh loves you today. We love you today. We appreciate you. We thank Yahweh for all of you, all of those that have tuned in on today, and all of those that are here in our presence on this Lord's day. We thank Yahweh for using Prophetess Tucker in a mighty special way. Hallelujah. 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 An awesome word, a blessed word, a right now word. Amen. So I pray that we continue to use you. That you continue to serve your gifts in the name of Yahshua. That you continue to go forth in all that he's called you to do. In the name of Yahshua. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Again, thank we thank everyone for your participation in our service today. And this is an opportunity for you to participate in giving. It's a blessing to give. It's better to give than to receive. It's a blessing and a blessing indeed in it. So at this time, you can cash out us. You're welcome to do so. You can even send it by mail. Your tithes or your offering, your donations, whatever you would like to send. We thank you for it. We just want to thank you for it in advance. We really thank you. We're grateful for all that you do. You can mail it to P.O. Box 9144, Columbia, South Carolina, 29290. Amen. Thank you for tuning in, and may you continue to have a blessed day. And Yahweh, plead the blood of Yahshua over your families, over your children, over the schools, over every area and yes. everything. And know that the blood works. It will never, ever lose its power. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.